All right, welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon. Um, excuse me if I sniff or sound a bit froggy or bunged up today. It is prime hay fever season and I am suffering. Um, I also, I, so I play with the gamepad, right? Uh, my left thumb, ooh, I have a pretty whacking great plaster on, so I'm not controlling too well today. Uh, because I damn near sliced the tip of my thumb off with a Japanese sushi knife. Uh, my mum gave me some new knives when I moved house not that long ago, and they are so sharp that I was cutting vegetables and nearly took the tip of my thumb off, and I put the knife in the washing up. Seriously, it was a huge chunk out of my thumb. Put the knife in the washing up to deal with the fact that I was bleeding everywhere, and then a couple hours later, I was like, oh, I did the washing up, and lo and behold, uh, reached in to grab some washing up and did the exact same thing about half a centimetre to the left of where I'd previously cut myself. So I have two enormous slices out of my thumb and a pretty whacking back plaster as a result, which means this is actually kind of tough today. Having said that, I'm not doing too badly. The trick is to actually not think about it too much. I'm learning this. Uh, that sounded like more enemies. Ooh. No, 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 no. Okay. Doing alright. Doing alright. Okay. Oh, oops. Okay. Well, that went quite well. Um, I have been playing a little bit of this game off camera. I actually managed to do kind of okay on the previous run. I got pretty lucky with my drops. I've got some nice guns. Didn't get anything that we bought from the store. Excited for one of them to show up, potentially. But I got some pretty cool stuff. And some passive and active items as well as just guns. And I was kind of doing okay. Still ultimately died on the second floor. But I start to feel like I'm getting a little bit of a handle on this game. Still not super great. Oh, look, he flipped up a table. It's supposed to be my trick. Um, and there's the fireplace, making up of that. See if we can find a water garden or a water barrel at some point. And two keys. Maybe we can go check out the secret floor. That'd be exciting for a video. Uh, still some enemies. I'm oh, just shooting into nothing, man. That was interesting. Do you see that? You kind of ran around. Oh no. Ran around the table a couple of times away from whichever direction I was coming at him from. I don't think I've seen him do that before. Pretty interesting. Okay, it's not too bad actually with the thumb on rooms like this, where you've got some space to maneuver. Bosses are tough. Bosses require a little bit faster reflexes, and uh, I ain't got them at the moment. Okay, Ooh. I wasn't expecting that. Kind of thought I was done with the room. Going okay, I haven't found anything exciting as of yet, but I've been doing pretty well on the rooms. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's save the money for the moment, maybe come back to that. You never know what you're going to get in a shop, and it's not always the best idea to blow your load early. Uh, so there's a yeah, blue chest. Again, let's see what we can get. Uh, maybe one of these. Let's see what we can get elsewhere. Got a fairly decent amount of cash. So I was reading a little bit about how you get stuff in this game, and you have like a like a cool rating or something like that. And so how well you're doing determines how much cash you get. Key. 25, 25, what's this? T-shirt cannon. I don't think I've tried that before. Um, I will grab a key, because they're quite good. And I'd like to get some more armor. But that will do for now. Got life actually on the floor back in that room as well. Good to know, just in case things go really south. And there's our boss. 
Let's do our last little bit of exploring down here. Get definitely ooh, definitely get some interesting enemies on the second ah uh, there we go. On the second floor. A lot more of those uh, Iron Maiden things. They are interesting to deal with. Okay. Uh, let's go down. Okay. Ugh. Oops. 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 These kind of enemies are just annoying. I don't know why they put them in video games. They're never exactly a challenge. They're just a waste of time, I guess. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, you see kind of how many, how much money we're getting per room has dropped since we took that hit. I wonder if that's a thing. Like the longer you go on hit, the higher your maybe there's like a multiplier or something in the background that you don't see. That would be interesting. Okay, that's a brown chest. Um, did we see a water barrel anywhere? To get into our fireplace. None of these are water barrels. Uh, those aren't water barrels. Let's have a look down here. I hope that wasn't water barrel. Nope. Um, I'll back up here. In fact, where was the fire? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well, let's walk around everything all over again. Until we find it. I get the feeling the fire was one of these big rooms. Yes, there we go. Okay, so let's look for a water barrel. Uh, explosive barrels, not quite the same. I haven't got in another gun yet either. Ah, there's a water barrel. Okay, so I could use my key on a blue chest and potentially get a gun, or I could try and boss, do the boss with this. Oops. Do the boss, sorry dude. Do the boss with this. And go to the secret floor. Tricky. Let's live dangerously. Oh, actually, no, because I'm not going to end up doing the boss, I think, if I do this. Uh, this is going to be riveting entertainment for you, audience, as I push this barrel across many rooms. It's not very entertaining for me, I'll be honest. Uh, but let's go check out the secret floor. That'll be interesting. Don't need that heart yet, which is... Oh, okay. Let's maybe get rid of that first, just in case there's anything. I don't know if that would have done anything to the water barrel, but better safe than sorry. I need to get you out of the way. There we go. Ugh, this fine control is uh, not terribly easy. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> okay, that one I'm actually going to blame on the car. Right, here we go. Hooray! Okay, fireplace, secret room. Where are you? There we go. Gonna check that out. Let's uh, let's get some junk off of this, just because might be able to sell it somewhere down the line. There we go. Junk. I do not actually know how to sell that to the sewer great person thing in the shops now. Unlike that one time that I didn't and probably frustrated a bunch of people. Okay, this is exciting. So I haven't been down here for a long time. Um, there is an item down here that you're supposed to then take somewhere on the second floor, but you have to not get hit. So almost immediately you can see that this is a step up. Ah, there we go. So not getting hit is gonna be challenging. Ooh, those enemies poison. Okay, don't want that. There we go. Creep is not something you want in a game where you want to be highly mobile. Mm. 
poison can be tricky to deal with here, I think. Oh, that's awfully convenient. Okay, let's crack on. Oh god, green? Why are they green? Ah, no. That was a uh, situation. Rolled just ever so slightly too late. Ooh, that was a very good dodge, if I say so myself, considering there's a table there. Okay. Ooh. What happened there? Stepped on that guy and he popped. They're all popping. Okay, this is weird. Uh, okay. Those look like spikes in the middle there. Let's try this out. Oh god, no. That could have gone worse. Could have gone better, but definitely could have gone worse. Oh man. Not a fan of this room either. Oof, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'll go quiet when there's bits where I'm really concentrating. Okay. Um, like I say, in a game where you really want to be highly mobile, rooms with creep and poison like we saw before, or rooms with just a ton of holes in the floor, are not going to be the easiest time. Uh, no keys. Okay, well. Crack on. Oh, I want a key for that one. Hope that water barrel wasn't needed for anything. That was another nice roll. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Would like some more health, but... Oh, look. On the map, that's where the thing is. So I need a key for that. So I'm doing kind of okay, considering that I'm still rocking the pea shooter. Oh, my God. Run away! <laughs> Run away! Sometimes in life the only option is to book it and get the hell out. Oh god, that thing in the middle is going nuts. Oh, okay. Let's try and get rid of you. Well, losing my armor on that room, not a huge surprise. Oh. This is a sucky room for sucky people. Uh, I don't know. There we go. Just chip away at them. Stay on the outside. Stay alive. That's the main thing. Alright, these guys aren't too bad because they do all their shooting in one massive burst. So, like this, you can actually just kind of unload on them. Really starting to wonder whether I shouldn't have just got a better gun. It would be really nice to get a shot right about now. Get either a key or a better gun. Oh no. Some items would be nice too. Okay. These rooms are definitely like. I don't know if this is tougher than the second floor, but it definitely feels a little harsher. Ah. Okay. Did I leave any health back here? I don't think I did, did I? No. Um, there's the boss. Boss of the secret floor. So you've got to beat the boss without getting hit as well once you've got the item. Yeah, I don't know what they do. Curious. <laughs> Alright. Oh, man. Really want a key. Key, please. Oh, God. Okay. Trying to hold on to my blanks for the boss, considering I don't have a particularly good item uh, or gun. Just to try and give me a better shot at the boss. I'm not really expecting to get through this with the. I think it's called the old crest, the thing I need to try and get to the second floor. Like, I, I don't think I'm quite there yet. But, you know, if I can get to the second floor having gone through this floor, that would be pretty good. Again, especially since I don't have any bloody upgrades. Ah, ah, 
Okay, cool. What do we got? Alien side armor. That was pretty good. I had that before. Winchester rifle. Flare gun. I don't know if any of these are any good. Or I could get two keys and take a gamble on the two chests. Or one chest and that. Hmm, it's tough. I did quite like the alien side arm before. Oh, two, that would leave me with 23. Keys are fair. Let's get two keys. And use one on the door and one on the chest. These are not fun combinations of bullet waves. Well, there we go. That escalated quickly. I should have gone straight off and got whatever. Killed by veteran shotgun kin. Okay, well, there we go. wonder if anything's happened back at Breach. Let's find out. Oh, I hit quick restart. Let's go again. Fuck it. See what happens. We'll have an extra long video, shall we? Well, off to a raring start. Oh, fuck off. Okay, good. <laughs> Get really annoyed at those little uh, bloody things. So, the first four, I'm pretty confident my ability to get through now but it does escalate quite sharply especially if you don't have any decent weapons when you get to be on the first floor okay uh, pick a direction let's go up here interesting room So, what are we hoping for out of this second round? Maybe, maybe decent weapon? That would be nice. Yeah, I don't think I picked up a single gun on that last run. Oh, that's, that was avoidable, wasn't it? I got distracted by what he was doing up there. There's our shop, but it looks like it's blocked off. Yes, I'm going to have to go around. I don't think those rubber bullet guys hurt you. I think they just push you around. Pretty sure I've been hit by one and nothing really happened. Not quite sure why I did that. Just felt the need to flip some tables. Sometimes you've got a table flip. Or shoot a piece of armor for no apparent reason. I said before, I'm not, a fan of, I'm not a fan of these guys either. Luckily, they don't take much damage. There we go. And now we can get to the shop. Great. Oh, you're still alive, yes, sir. Cog of Battle. So that gives you active reload. I had that on a previous run, actually. Table Tech Sight. Interesting. Hmm. I don't really know what this does, but I know Table Techs are generally pretty cool. Basically, they trigger whenever you flip a table. I've got three blanks, so I don't need that. Key is tempting. 25. Uh, let's go for it. Give it a try. Oh, we should read our thing. Ow. Pressing the select button really hurts. Ancient technique briefly increases gun output whenever a table is flipped. Chapter 3 of the Tabla Sutra. And in flipping the table, we are bettered. He who knows the table knows himself. Not really sure I want anything to do with a book called the Tablet Sutra. Okay, there's our boss. No point teleporting just to go down one room. 
I mean, does that mean you fuck tables? I don't know. I don't want to. So, of course, there's no tables to flip in the first room I come to. Also took some dumb damage. Not a fan of that. Got, got it back, though. So. Uh, there's still some rooms to go. Let's hold off on that. Just in case there's something epic somewhere else. Still no tables. Ooh, that's good. Still no tables to flip. That's annoying. I want to try out my new thing. So there's another blue one. So it's two blue chests. One key. That's annoying. I haven't seen a fireplace room. I haven't really been looking for it. Though. Don't fancy going down there again just yet. Ah, it gives you slow motion and like triple bullets. Interesting. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's very cool. I am down with that. That's going to be really handy. Of course, I think... Let's try it. Yeah, it works even when there's no enemies around. I don't think I needed to reload after that either. Oh, well, speak of the devil, there's a far place room. And the barrel's right next to it, but I've only got one key. And I'm not going to go for another. So, which chest do we go for? Uh, let's go for the one that was further away. Because that means it's bound to be better, right? We'll go and shoot the other one. Uh, for some prime junk. Uh, I was hoping for a gun. What's this do? Rolling eye back at you. Passive. Could be good. Rolling through bullets rebounds them towards their owners. To make as many failings, Sir Manuel is one of the finest dodge rollers ever to enter the Gungeon's halls. This eye is almost purely composed of dodge sight of rare material that reacts strangely near bullets. Okay. Well, that's useful for the boss, because there's never any tables in the boss room. Well, very rarely tables in the boss room. I think there was actually once in a Gatling Gold fight, which you were watching. So if I'd left that statement there, I bet you would have told me off in the comments and who wants to be told off by me okay let's try the boss not overly confident well there's tables though let's unload on him early with some, ta with some table deck oh Ah, no more tables. Okay, damn it. Well, we should try to dodge rolling. Yes, that's cool. Ah, surprisingly hard to pull off. Oh, God. No. Okay. Keep firing. This Gatling gun thing is just slightly faster than I am. Even... Oh, God. This is a thing, like this this his gun is just better than I am. <laughs> Try and keep him behind that. Oh, great. Well. Well, two short runs, that'll do you. Gatling Gull again proves my undoing. Return to breach this time. Um oh, I really hate that gun. Let's uh let's have a look around, see if anything's changed. Nothing really over there. This dude showed up. Doesn't seem to do anything just yet. Uh, oh no, actually, that's the elevator guy. So I found this guy in the dungeon on the previous run. He will now appear in those holes under the elevators. And you can give him stuff, and eventually he'll give me a shortcut down to like level two straight away. This guy doesn't do anything. No idea what that's about. Uh, the shop is still up here. I don't think anything else. Nope. And I'm pretty sure we won't be able to afford anything in our shop. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was Enter the Gungeon again. So, as always, please like and share if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and Al and Ed and the channel in general. Uh, bye!